Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Cole Kakamist and welcome back to the channel. Being someone who spends long periods of time at the desk, whether it be for coding, designing, or editing a video like this one, I'm always on the lookout for new products I can add to the setup that will improve its comfort, aesthetics, and most importantly, my health. That brings me to the Delta Hub Carpio 2.0, which is one interesting accessory to say the least. If you've been keeping up with my social channels recently, and if you haven't, what are you doing? But you might have seen this guy in the background. So for the past week, I've been testing it out. And so I'm really excited to finally share my thoughts on it. So right off the bat, I've got to answer the question you're probably asking, what on earth actually is this thing? To put it simply, it's a compact wrist rest for your mouse that helps to prevent wrist fatigue from prolonged use. It's actually very unnatural for your hand to be in this kind of position for a long time. And it can lead to some more serious health effects down the line, like carpal tunnel, hence the name Carpio. So this is perfect for myself because I really do a lot of work sitting down at this desk. At first glance, you might think it looks a bit odd, but to be honest, after using it this past week, I've come to fall in love with the design. It has a concave shape that fits really well around the shape of your palm. It sits at the back of it, which is the perfect position because it elevates your wrist properly to reinforce the pressure from the wrist to the lower palm, which removes the harmful extension that occurs when not using one of these. The bottom feet of the Carpio are made of PTFE Teflon, which allows it to glide smoothly across any surface. This is great because the rest will stay in place as you move your hand around. Trust me, I've tried shaking it off, but it really fits well in there. This is actually another health benefit in itself because you're going to be able to move your arm more freely. A weird thing about the design is that the Carpio can be taken apart into three pieces, separating the pads and the feet from the main base. Now on Delta Hub's FAQ page, they say that this is so that you can swap out the pads of the feet, but as of right now, it's not possible to buy those separately. Luckily, the locking mechanism for the three pieces on this 2.0 Carpio is a lot better than the first. I heard from a lot of people who used it that it would just like what? randomly fall apart when they were using it. And so that, you know, that might be a little bit of a problem. But using it so far, I, I can tell it's a lot. Oh, I guess it just popped off. <laughs> Through using it, I have not experienced anything like that. And it's been on there really tight. Due to its compact design, you can take it anywhere. In the box, you get this nice little travel pouch so you can toss it in your bag or your pocket and get going. On top of this, it's very light so you won't feel it weighing you down. This is awesome for those of you who are moving around a lot and don't want to lug around a bunch of peripherals. Want to go to the coffee shop? No problem. You want to go from your office to your living room? That works too. Now I'm sure you're still wondering how comfortable it really is. The top pads are made of silicone and feel really good in your palm. They have just the right balance of being soft, but still stable enough to support the ergonomics of the wrist rest. During the first couple days, I'll admit that it felt pretty awkward. I kept losing grip of it and it just felt unnatural. But don't worry, this is actually to be expected. Delta Hub themselves acknowledge this. They say the average adjustment period is one to two weeks, so don't worry if you picked up one of these and you know, it's been a few days and it just it doesn't feel right. It's not you, just keep using it and eventually you'll get that muscle memory and it'll just feel natural. For me, luckily, I was able to get the hang of it in just a weekend. It became comfy to rest my hand on and started to glide seamlessly. I've gotten so used to it that it already feels weird going without one. So you can grab the Carpio in three different colors, white, gray, and the new matte black. I was able to get my hands on both the white and matte black versions, and I can say they look great. Do note that the box will be black regardless of which color you choose. This threw me off at first because I thought they accidentally sent me two of the same color. I've only been using the white one because it matches really well with the rest of the desk, but don't get me wrong, the black looks damn good. It's also available in two different sizes, small and large. A quick way to find out which will fit best is to grab a credit card and measure the width of your palm. If the card is bigger, go with the small size, and if it's smaller, go with the large size. For reference, I went with the small and it fits perfectly. And for all the lefties out there, there is a left-handed version. The Carpio is actually not exclusive to mice. I tried it with the trackpad on my Magic Keyboard and it actually worked surprisingly well. Also, if you pick up one left-handed version and one right-handed version, you can actually use it on the keyboard. Although, I only have two rights right now, and that feels a little awkward. Alongside the Carpio, Delta Hub sells their own desk mat, but to be honest, it's nothing breathtaking. It's made of a wool felt material, which is nice for gliding the mouse across, but it doesn't feel the strongest. It's pretty thin, which I'm sure is what they were going for, but it makes it feel like it won't last as long. The edges are anti-fray though, so this may help it to stay intact over time. The bottom features this anti-slip material that actually works quite well. You don't have to worry about it sliding off your desk all the time. I chose to go with the small size, but it's a bit too small for all the accessories I use. For my main work setup, I prefer to use a larger leather mat. This one in particular is from OrbiKey, so I may not be making a super fair comparison, but further down the line, I do think I'll make use of it in a dedicated gaming setup, so stay tuned for that. Speaking of gaming, I was curious as to how the Carpio would perform in games, so I tried out a match of Rainbow Six Siege with it. So my conclusion is that when you're playing a game like that, you're playing very fast paced shooters, it probably isn't the best because it's just going to slow you down. However, if you're playing a game that's kind of more slow paced, maybe like Red Dead Redemption or Grand Theft Auto, Firewatch, something like that, I think it's perfectly fine. 
but yeah, when when you're in competitive games in multiplayer, when you're you know swinging your your mouse around, you're you're definitely you're not gonna want to have it in the way. So really, I think it's only good for light gaming. With all that said, both the Carpio and Deathmat comes in at 30 euros or around $35 each. Keep in mind though that you'll have to pay a little extra in shipping costs if your order is below 45 euros or $50. If you want to get more than one Carpio, you can buy one and get 33% off or buy three and get the fourth free. Overall, the Delta Hub Carpio is one fantastic desk accessory. It's definitely not the cheapest, but if you're anything like myself and spending hours every day at your desk, this will be a worthwhile investment. Not only is it comfortable, allowing you to glide your mouse across the desk with ease, but it gives that nice aesthetic touch to the setup, which is equally as important. To be honest, I can't believe I went this long without one. If you'd like to pick one up for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description. As always, I want to give a huge thank you to everyone who's made it to this point in the video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed and want to see more tech content from me in the very near future, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and take care.